Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today as we talk about the Zentech Review Tools Structural Package. The Structural Package contains nine different tool sets within them, all with additional tools within them. As with all of our tool sets, these also contain layer properties and custom columns within the markups list. I'm going to be going over some of the basic tools up here uh, to start off and then get into the layers and custom columns a little bit later on in this video. Let's uh, start off with the base plates. So this is just going to give us some different options for base plates. So this is utilizing the sketch to scale tools within Bluebeam. So we'll do a you know four foot radius for the circle base plate and again as with all of these you can change the label either before or after you place down a certain tool we have a rectangular base plate so if you wanted to do no 1.5 by 3 for a height you can certainly do that a lot smaller than my circle one over here and then if you wanted to do another type of shape using a polygon and I'm just gonna do a pretty large one here a weird shape uh, you can either type it in or again draw it around draw another one for us I'll do like a octagon I'll just do a triangle actually. What you want? Again, all of these can be customizable and changed uh, depending on your knowledge of Bluebeam. We have a numerous channels tool, um, all of which are either a count object or a linear feet object. Uh, all of these are pretty much identical from each other, so. I'm only going to be going over two or three of these. So again, our C column, this is a C3 um, by a question mark. And what it means question mark at the end of these, uh, the intent of it is for you to go into these tools and change them when you do your takeoff. So this may be C3 by 10. For example, and we'll do a, another one down here. We'll do a C10. You'll see that the line's a little bit thicker depending on the type. Similar to the channels tool above, we also have all of our connections. Uh, a lot of count objects here. So weld type, shear connection, helmet connection, axial connection, riveted connection, bolted connection, and welded connection. Then we also have our bolt and weld connect and our bolt detail. Again, as with everything else, we do have our question marks. Please put your uh, exact details in there based off your drawings, whatever you may be using. We have a side plate. And then we basically have a detail tag. We have several different linear feet type tools for any type of takeoffs for your welds here. So a butt weld, a T weld, corner weld, a lap weld, and an edge weld. Up 
next we have area takeoffs for any type of structural decking you have here. Uh, our most common are 12, 14, and 16 gauge. You can do any shape you want. I'm just doing rectangles just to save a little bit of time here. And again, should you need to change any of these, you 18 gauge, you can certainly do that for your floor plate. Then we have any type of corrugated deck. Again, if you want to do some type of custom shape, again, that's that's doable within Bluebeam. These are just simple area tools. Up next, we have our demolition tools. Again, demolition of area. Align. Object. And volume. Very similar to the channels tool up above, we have all of the I-beams. So again, we have a significant amount of this one, you know, close to close to 20 tools, if not more. Um, but again, very similar to each other at a functional level. So I'll just pick a few random ones here as opposed to going over every single one. And again, this question mark references uh, so that you can actually modify this when you're doing your takeoffs. Doing 18 as well. Now you may be wondering yourself, both of these I-beams look the same. However, in the markups list, uh, they have very different subjects and labels uh, that go along with them. We also have L shapes, and just as the same thing with the channels and the uh, I beams, again, question marks there, and there's both a count object for them, do any types of counts, and a linear foot as well. We'll do another one. And I'm just doing straight lines, but again, if you need to do any other custom shapes, you can certainly do that as they are all just linear tools. We also have plates with our, how many inches wide they are. So, you know, a three eighths thickness plate. Maybe this is meant to be four inches wide. Two inch plate. Again, you would change the label. Not 10 inch duct, 10 inch wide. That was my bad on that. And last but not least, we have our W shape tool set. Again, just as the other tools, we give you both a count object and a linear uh, measurement so you can do all of the different types. Now let's get into the layers. Uh, layers are mostly used for visibility. So just going to turn off this structural steel up here. And I got my drawing a little bit messed up here, but you'll see most of these are kind of disappearing. If I go to my connections, 
the connections are going to disappear. We also have our custom columns for these tools, which you can access via the markups list. So we have weld length, weld size, bolt size, unit price, and cost. Minimize some of these columns here just to make it a little bit easier for us to read. There we go. And with any of these, such as for our weld, key weld right here, we could change the weld length to no, 20. Bolt size, select a bolt for our takeoff here. And then here we have our bolted connection. We do a drop down. Again, some tools are not going to have this as a function, such as our um, decking. We don't actually have any bolt sizes. You can't actually select anything for this. And then as with all of the tools, we also give you a unit price and a cost. Should you want to put a number in there, um, and it will do the calculation for you. Uh, this can be entered in via the markups list, or if you already have predefined prices for anything, you can always set it up within the tool set itself in advance. So I'm doing this 14 gauge right here. And I'm just going to do an easy number of just 10 for my unit price. So $10 a square foot. You know, maybe that includes install and a material. And now every single time I place this on a drawing, you'll see that it is putting my price and doing the calculation automatically. Other than that, that basically sums up the basics of the Zentech review tools uh, structural. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to email us or visit our website. Uh, we're always happy to answer any questions for you guys or go over any farther details.